So we are now into browse picks, and we've logged into the application, and we're beyond that barrier. And you've seen how you can use a an FBML control element to control what is shown on the first page. Now I'm going to go into the documentation using the developer's link that's at the bottom of most pages and we'll come back here into the wiki and what we will look at is the other FBML control elements. So I'll come down here to the FBML section and the other control elements all start with if and they're in the user section. And what they do is let you take one path if a user is in a certain network, if a user can see something, can see a photo, if this is the one we just used, if the user is a user of the current application, is friends with the viewer, is a member of a group, is a user, has been verified this is a new technology now, and we can look at their status. And based on the results, we either take one path or another through the code. So you can have different commands, different graphics, different ways for the users to interact with your application depending on these environmental cases that you are determining through the control elements. So we've seen ways in which you can use FBML to get data from the database, such as the name, to use control statements. And now the third way in which you can use FBML is to actually create objects on the page. Objects such as, for example, a share button. Let me go back to browsing pics and you will see that one of the things that we do is to allow users to browse various pics from our database and we let them also add a specific pic to their list of pics and we also let them let their friends know about the pic and there's a share button that lets them share this information using the standard Facebook share interface so if I click on share I'm going to have the opportunity to share something about this with friends either through a message or by posting it on my profile. I can come in here and start to type the name of a friend and I can change the subject. I can say this is interesting. I like this. That can be a message to one or more friends. I can also post it to my profile and with a comment such as, this is interesting. Or if I am tremendously enthusiastic, I can say, this is very interesting. And show my enthusiasm with an exclamation point. This is a standard part of the interface. Every time you use something that's a standard part of the interface, it's easier for people to understand how to use it and what it does. And the share button is implemented with FBML. So let's take a look at the FBML for the share button. 